This video explains how to import your student opening balances information into Charms. The Charms Opening Balance Import Wizard guides you through the process of importing your student opening balances information into Charms. The Opening Balances Import feature is typically only used when you are first setting up a new Charms account to import amounts the students have previously built up. Note that this enters monetary amounts into the student miscellaneous ledger area only, not into the bank ledger itself. It is not a deposit into the bank ledger. Both positive credit and negative debit values can be entered for a student. The process involves several different procedures, which we'll cover in this video. First, you'll need to download the Charms Opening Balances template. This file is a spreadsheet to help you get your information ready. You must use this file for the import. Once you have downloaded the template, you'll work with that file in Excel to prepare your information. When the information is ready to import, you'll return to the Import Opening Balances wizard screen in Charms where you will upload the Excel file, review the data, and finalize the import. Now that you understand the process, let's look at each procedure. First, you'll need to go to the Import Opening Balances wizard screen to download the template file. To get to this screen, first click on the Finances icon at the top of the screen. Select the Miscellaneous Ledger black tab. Select Import Balances from the list. Click on the Download Template button to save the Charms template to your computer. Your browser will ask whether you want to open or save the file. You should save the file before opening it. Make sure that you don't change the name of the file when you save it. Let's take a quick look at that Excel file. The file consists only of column headers at the top for the student first name, student last name, and the student's opening miscellaneous ledger balance. You'll need to get your information into this file. If you don't have this information in a database file already, enter in the information and save as you go until it's all entered, or just upload a group of students at a time, starting with an empty template when you begin working on the next group. Again, either positive or negative amounts can be entered, but do not use dollar signs. If you do have this information in a database file already, you can copy and paste the information into the template. An easy way to do this is to view both your student balances file and the Charms Opening Balances template file side by side. You can size each file to take half of your screen like this example. Copy your information into the Charms template one column at a time to get the information in the right order. Make sure that you don't paste the information over the column header in the Charms Opening Balances template file. When the opening balances template file is ready, make sure to save it with the original file name. If you change the file name, Charms will not be able to import it. Save the file as an Excel 97 to 2003 type and remember where you saved it. Next, you'll need to return to the opening balances import wizard screen to upload the file. Select the browse button. Navigate to the location of the Charms opening balances template file that you saved. Select open. Select upload file. On the next screen, you can review any errors that may exist in your upload file. If you have any red text or errors, you'll need to go back to the Excel file to correct the errors and resave the file, overwriting the old version. Then return to the Import Opening Balances File Wizard screen and upload the file again. When the data is ready to import, scroll to the bottom of the screen. You can enter a different description of your import if desired. The default description is Opening Balances. Select Upload Data. This process can take some time if you have a large number of student balances. Do not click the Upload button twice. Wait for it to finish. Congratulations! You've imported your opening balance information. The last screen includes links to the miscellaneous ledger screens to perform other financial tasks. Note that you cannot replace or overwrite this data by re-importing it. Any changes will need to be made from within the CHARM system on the individual student miscellaneous ledger screens. However, you can import additional student opening balances at any time by repeating the process with new information, starting with an empty template. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other Charms Office procedures.